What's up, bros and hoes, or whatever floats your goat? It's Relentless here, bringing you yet another Division build video. And as you all know, I have been uh, away for the last week and a half to two weeks due to uh, health reasons. I actually was hospitalized. But I am so glad to be back with you and back on the ground in the Division. And as I present to you today, what I think is my favorite, and I know a lot of you guys out there that still grind the Division, uh, is favorite build because it is so versatile and what you can do uh, and how you can mix and match things and how you can just, you know, it's so adaptable to whatever play style you may be. Whether you're a hybrid player, whether you're a DPS damage player, or, you know, or you can go, you know, skill power with it too. But it's more or less uh, primarily a DPS damage build slash hybrid build. Um, and I just want you guys to know I just, this is my, my favorite build. This is, my, in my opinion, the best build in the division out there because of its uh, versatility. Uh, but anyways, before we get into the build, build video, I just want to let you know the giveaway is still going on for the PS4 Pro or the Xbox X. Um, the Gleam link is in the description below. Click on that, follow the steps, get entered in, so that way you can uh, get in on this competition as far as winning this console. Uh, and second place is Game of Choice, and third place is a Revolution Gaming uh, Limited Edition t-shirt. But without further ado, uh, let's hop right into it. As you can see, um, it's a mix and match. Um, you can deem it, I guess, the skull build because it utilizes the skull MC gloves. But its versatility is based on as long as you don't have uh, any gear set bonuses, such as like two Lone Star, two Banshee, two Tack, anything like that, then you uh, get bonus damage from these gloves uh, by 16%. Um, and you can mix and match and you know such as what I have my knee pads or the holster I do have a Colonel Bliss's holster but the armor on it's crappy so therefore I went you know with the Banshee holster uh, whatever basically your best gear pieces that you have with uh, the talents and whatnot that you want on it you can plug it right in and it fits right uh, with anything and everything depending on your playstyle and as you can see I have everything rolled to firearms except for one piece um, because I am utilizing the specialized backpack, but we're jumping ahead of ourselves. Let's hop into the chest piece first. Uh, vigorous chest piece, um, not exactly the greatest. Uh, also, you can run reckless, and this reckless chest piece is actually uh, pretty good. It all just depends on your play style and, and you know how you want it to go. But that's what makes it so versatile. Um, I already got two mods in it, um, as you can see with firearms and health. Um, you can also go with stamina and health, uh, whichever you prefer. Um, so that way you, you can still get your toughness around 300, but as it stands right now with just firearms and the health, uh, it drops my toughness down to 272k, um, but I have sub sufficient enough skill power and first aid self heals to where it kind of counteracts to get reckless, but you know, if you're going to run reckless, uh, I advise at least uh, 300k um, toughness, um, especially if you're running like in a duo or especially most definitely solo, um, but in solo situations, such as the DZ or run the the weeklies or the dailies, then I go with the vigorous chest piece. Um, I wish the firearms were a little bit higher as I acquire one um, that has better armor and, and better main stat. That will change, but it has skill haste, health, and ammo capacity. And in its mod slots, I have 265 stamina, health, and 261 stamina and health. Uh, moving on to the mask, tenacious mask. Uh, as we all know, increased damage by 10% for 10 seconds when using a med kit and rolled 1242 electronics. 971 armor, uh, 85, 59 skill power. Um, actually, I picked this up earlier today. Um, it's a little low on the skill power side because it goes up to, I think, to like 10.5k uh, skill power. So it's a little bit, you know, on the downside of skill power wise and the major attributes. So as I acquire another one, this is a perfect fit for this build as far as, you know, uh, pop in a med kit to get that extra bonus damage on top. And in the mod slots, 262 firearms and 3266 health. Moving on to the knee pads, it was just the best ones I had. Um, good main stat, good armor at 1629, uh, major attributes, skill power. Um, you can substitute skill power for health, uh, but I think for more or less a solo build, as long as you're around the 300k or, you know, I try to stay around 300k, 315k uh, on basically any build. Um, because especially when you use a specialized backpack, it adds to your skill power. And anything above 155k skill power, I think is sufficient enough for any build. 
Um, and as you can see, it's rolled with skill power, burn resistance, damage uh, to elites, and disrupt resistance. I'd rather have shock resistance and bleed resistance on there. Um, but it works out also the damage to elites and PvP and PvE situations. And in the mod slots, I have 253 firearms, 2938 skill power, and 5.5% first aid self heal. Moving on to the backpack, it's a specialized backpack, good main stack, good armor roll. Adds 200% of firearms and stamina to your skill power. And the major attributes, 13,257 health and bleed resistance. In the mod slots, 258 firearms, 3138 skill power with two first aid self heals. Moving on to the gloves. Um, decent main stat, 1200. Um, it goes up to 1272, so uh, it can be improved upon. And the main armor goes up to 1001. Uh, but these are the best pair of Skull MC gloves I've gotten. Um, so therefore, I'm utilizing them. And it has SMG damage, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage, which is the trifecta. And moving on to the holster. 993 and base armor and decent stats across the board at 1251, 1248, and 1255. And the major attribute is health. And it's got a first aid self heal in its mod slot. Now you can substitute many different things. Like I said, if you have the Colonel Bliss's holster, the Pharaoh's mask, um, just you know whatever you prefer as far as you know the mix and match of your gear pieces. Um, now you can roll everything to skill haste. I do have skill haste mods, um, and it did lower uh, my skill power just by a little bit. I think it was around 152k uh, skill power, and then my toughness went down to about 289. And then it, therefore, it boosted me up to 29% uh, skill haste. Um, but with the additional like 20k toughness and around 15 to 20k skill power, and as far as my play style, uh, the way I have it set up, I prefer it this way and just stack in more or less health and skill power to compensate, you know, whichever you prefer. Um, instead of the skill power, I could be up to around, you know, uh, 316k toughness. Um, but I think that 300k toughness is, is very sufficient in a battle because it's more or less now who can down the other one the fastest. Um, so it comes uh, all in gun skill and your movement uh, and your strafing side to side. Um, and like I said, skill power, as long as you're around the 155k skill power with first aid self heals, then you're going to be doing just great. Um, and then, you know, you can add that bonus damage in there with a tenacious mask. If you have the Colonel Bliss's holster, you can utilize it. You can go with Reckless. Um, since, you know, Rapid is kind of bugged in a way at the moment, and it's not as great, in my opinion, as the Vigorous chest piece. Uh, but, it, you know, if you want to go one-shotting with a shotgun, uh, then you can throw on a Reckless uh, in this situation with this build, and, you know, uh, potentially one-shot someone, especially when you pop in Booster Shot and Tenacious Mask, utilizing like its talents, so therefore you get that big chunk of bonus damage on top. Uh, and my... Weapons, I have 22.8k on my M4 with Brutal, Adept, and Fierce. Uh, magazine size, crit hit damage, crit hit chance. And the magazine optics is crit hit chance, headshot damage, and accuracy. And the muzzle, uh, crit hit damage, stability, and crit hit chance. And the small grip, crit hit damage, optimal range, and stability. Uh, we all know the trifecta here, which is crit hit chance, crit hit damage, um, and headshot damage. So you can get those three on the optics or the muzzle then uh, more power to you um, just RNG gods is not uh, in my favor uh, mp5 st 21.5 K with responsive deadly and vicious and I'll scroll slowly so you can read over the mods as far as on the weapon but basically you still want the trifecta like I said the create damage headshot damage and create a chance and the muzzle and the optics range um, and this is just an MP5 ST. The blueprint is currently available in the base of operations if you want to grab a hold of it. Uh, I'm like mm, 250 Phoenix credits short, so I'm, I'll be definitely picking that up. And if you have it, I advise to pick that up. Um, as you can see, but I do have a uh, MP5 Navy down here with 22.5K. So there is a difference uh, around 100, 1,000 actually uh, in damage-wise. But the talents on this one is responsive, competent, and self-preserved. As you can see, I was just uh, messing around with this build, and I re-rolled the first one uh, and less self-preserved on there because I was trying to go with a more or less a, a self-heal build, uh, vampire build, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's why this self-preserve is in the third slot, and I can't roll it, or I would be using this one because of the damage and because it also has 3.5% more crit hit chance on there. Uh, my idea talents would be, in this situation, would be unforgiving, uh, competent, and such as like uh, vicious or unforgiving, deadly, and vicious. And you're like, well, why wouldn't you want competent also? 
because um, competent is more based on, like it says, you know, is increased by 10% when using a, a talent um, or a skill, actually. Um, so I don't like um, things that have to be based on such a skill because, I mean, in, you know, two seconds could be like an eternity. Five seconds is like a lifetime. So I'm just more into the base raw damage uh, more than anything. Um, so with Unforgiving, you know, when you're trading in PvP, you know, you get that damage boost. And then the Deadly for the crit hit damage. And then the Vicious uh, or, or things of that nature in the third slot because that way I don't have to run around utilizing uh, Pulse or rely on a teammate's Pulse to hit that crit hit chance mark. And as you can see, I'm at 43% with 105% crit hit damage on my MP5. Um, you can mix and match. Um, you can change out health, such as on your mask or your skill power on mask for crit hit chance. You can go crit hit chance on your holster. It just basically uh, what I prefer. Or if you have mods uh, such as the one I do, um, as far as the 1% create chance, you can go that way. But I think it's it's best if you go with skill power or health in those mod slots instead of the create chance. Because um, basically you can only pick up 5% create chance on there. Um, and if you substituted like, say, 15k health on a mask uh, or you know, knee pads or whatever, uh, for the create chance it kind of works out about the same. Um, but you can stack it. And then with the pulse on this build, uh, I get up and almost hit the crit hit chance uh, cap. It's around 58% um, is what if I utilize pulse. But like I said, I don't like really to rely on that. I'm more into the race, uh, base raw damage. Uh, but in the talents of my weapon, um, which says I am running mostly in a duo, I can swap out the optics for the rugged uh, reflex right here and get another 5%. So I like to try to stay in between at least 46 and a half to say 52 and a half uh, crit hit chance. So that way I do not have to utilize uh, a pulse. So it works out really well. And uh, that way, you know, for those pesky shock turrets and flame turrets or whatever, I can run a health box instead. Uh, so that way it better helps out my teammate. Or, you know, if I just want to get as cheesy as other people, then I just drop a shock turret myself. But I advise you to go check out this build. It's very versatile and can conform to whatever your playstyle may be. If you're more of a hang back type or in your face kind of type or, you know, whatever the situation might be. If you just now got it, you know, the game not too long ago and you've been basically just doing PvE but you want to get to PvP. Uh, this build is versatile in a way that it can both be for PvP and PvE just because of its potential and its base raw damage uh, output. But we'll go up to the firing range, uh, and the numbers don't match up. As you can see, it's hitting for 23.7 when it says I'm actually hitting 21.5. So therefore, you can see the 16% in action. And, you know, I'm quit it, uh, critting for 44.7 to the body, 59.3 uh, to the head. But if I, say, used a med kit, uh, popping for 48 to the body, then I can pop booster, and I'm 54 to the body and then 72 to the head. So you can constantly stack on with the Tenacious Mask and the Booster Shot and get some really great uh, damage output out of this build. That's what makes it so great. But if you choose to run a Pulse uh, and add on to that crit hit damage uh, and then just spec into it, then you can optimize it and go uh, in different routes. Or if, like I said, if you want to go to Skill Haste and put, run Skill Haste on everything, um, then you can do that as well. This just is my opinion what works out best for me. Uh, and my playstyle, uh, and if you want to know what kind of playstyle that is, uh, you can check out all the Splatter Squad videos that's on my channel. Uh, I mainly am running this build, uh, as you see here, or my Predator's Mark build, and that build video is uh, the last one that was posted two weeks ago. So go check that out if you wanted to see uh, what's up on a Predator's Mark build. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for everyone um, that's uh, remained subs to my channel, that stayed loyal through my time of need while I was uh, hospitalized for the last two weeks. I know it's been rough. I was, you know, getting into a grind of uh, uploading daily, at least one, uh, possibly even two videos daily, and even that on top of that, streaming. And then just to go to nothing, uh, I apologize for that, but those that stuck around and continue to show me support, uh, thank you guys so much, and don't forget to check out the links in the description below, as well as Revolution Gaming, Facebook community, awesome, non-toxic community uh, on all things gaming, whether it be Division, Rainbow Six Siege, or whatever the case may be, there's always someone there willing to help uh, uh, out in any way that they can possible on whatever game it may be. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll see you. Panda, panda, panda. I got broads in Atlanta. She's a Dolina fan. Credit cards in the scammers. Hitting the licks in the band.